Hey guys, what's up? I got a cool video for y'all today. I'm gonna show you how to use your iMac as a gaming monitor for your iPad Pro. Let's check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, so before I show y'all how to set this up, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Did it? Awesome, thank you. Now let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we get started, this will also work on your MacBook. So MacBook Air and MacBook Pro, okay? So let's go. So first thing we'll need is our USB-C cable that came with the iPad. You'll just plug one end into it and you'll plug the next end into your MacBook or whatever. So if your iMac doesn't have USB-C ports, I'll also link these adapters down in the description. Okay? So you'll just plug it into that, like that, and you could plug it into that USB 3.0 port. All right? Okay, guys. So once you get your iPad connected to your computer, just go over to elgado.com and go to capture, go to software, game capture software, and download. Make sure you're under the Mac version, game capture for Mac, and hit download, and just wait for it to download. Once that's downloaded, go over to your downloads folder double click it and we want to hit open and there we go there we go we should get it on the screen immediately now if it doesn't pop up You'll just click right here and select your iPad from the drop down list. You could also go to settings right here. And if you have a real powerhouse computer, you could change it from 720p to 1080p and allow 60 frames per second for video preview. And you could always change the quality from good to best. and you should have it on there now to get it full screen you'll just enter full screen like that just leave the mouse and it should automatically pull to full screen and you could just start going around also one more thing i'm going to go over to settings and disable flashback recording if it's on it probably will be on for you so make sure it's disabled what that does is kind of save backups or your games and just records as you're playing so not unless you're into like live streaming and capturing your gameplay videos you don't really need that but in that case you might if you're into that kind of stuff so i would recommend just turning it off for regular gameplay this software here you can use it for live streaming and all kind of stuff like that all right so back to seeing me again no more screen recording so like i said to get full screen we'll just go full screen like that give it a second and it should automatically go to full screen now the sound will play from your computer speakers and not the ipad so in my case I have my speakers, they're Bluetooth speakers, and that's how the sound is playing. Pretty cool. So, 
There we go. But before we get into that, if you guys didn't like and subscribe at the beginning of the video, please do so now and help the channel out. If you thought this video was cool, please share it with a friend, guys. Definitely will help the channel out a lot. As always, guys, thanks for watching and peace out. Now let's go.